I love the Game Boy Advance. It's probably one of the best handhelds Nintendo has ever made. But what if I want two screens? Oh, thank god I have two screens to play my Game Boy Advance game on. 2005 came along, and Nintendo needed something to compete with the upcoming PSP. So what did they do? They brought out their, um, their idea they had w when they were on crack. Now, of course, Nintendo had to make this console, and, well, you know, they had to name it the most obvious thing it could possibly be called. The DS. What does DS stand for? Well, it doesn't stand for dumb shit, because this is actually kind of cool. No, it stands for dual screen. Thank God it's got two screens. In all seriousness, though, this came out in 2005, and... Well, it was cool. Everybody and their grandmother got it. Thank you, Brain Age. But it was a fat, ugly piece of crap. Now, Nintendo did realize this, that, that this thing was kind of, um, big, so they released a revision of the DS called the DS Lite. I don't have one because I spent all my money on a fucking Game Boy Micro that was garbage instead of something useful. That's not garbage! Later around... I don't know exactly what year. I think it was 2009 or 2010. They made the DSi. And, well, the DSi is probably the... arguably the best variation of the DS. But they took out one of the best parts of it. It didn't play Game Boy Advance games on one screen no more! It played it on none. But overall... The original system isn't that bad of a design, and this, the DS and the DS Lite played Game Boy Advance games. That is one of the nicest things about this. Um, there's charging port. Now, what's nice, the DS used the same charger as the Game Boy Advance SP. It was nice in case you had a GBA SP already, even though it came with a charger already. But, you know, to every positive, there's typically a usual, uh, a negative. What's a negative? It, the GBA SP charger only works with the original model. So, your DS, your DS Lite, um, your DSi, and your DSi XL all use different chargers. And the DSi and the DSi XL use the same charger, which is also the 3DS charger and the 2DS charger. But why does it matter if you have an original model like me? But it does matter if you don't. Which is the majority of people. Because most people have a DS later a DSi. Because, you know, they, they don't have to compensate with a, a big DS. DS games? They came in plastic cases. Oh my god, you don't understand from a collector's point of view how nice that is. And... They are nice quality cases, too. I mean, they went the entire way with them. I mean, they're nice quality cases. You got your game, obviously, your manuals and whatever, kind of like your typical. But they have this extra slot in the top for your Game Boy Advance games because Nintendo knew they messed up, so they're like, hey, we're sorry, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But just say that your broke ass can't afford a game. Well... Welcome to a little thing I like to call PictoChat. I like to call it PictoChat because that's what it's called. So you got chat room A through D. I'm going to join A. And yeah, that's how you can contact people. It's like texting. There's even a cool part of this that allows you to do DS download play. So pretty much, if you have a friend, get the DSs to each other and like play a game. Too bad I don't have any friends. <laughs> now, the DS isn't perfect. Um, there are some major flaws, like if you don't have the game inserted when you turn the console on, you have to turn it off again, put the game in, and then, and then turn it on again. And, yeah, there's, um, system settings, right? So you fix all your settings, right? And then it tells you, oh, the system will have to shut down. 
That is bullshit, dude. Why does it do that? The, the system kills itself. That doesn't matter if the games are good, so... Let's play the games. Mario 64 DS. You can tell right away that the graphics are better. Now, I'm not gonna play Mario 64 DS. I already did a review of this game. But isn't it? It's just so... It's... It's surprising to see this kind of graphic on a handheld like this back in the day. Yes, the PSP could do it, but that- but the D- the, the PSP didn't have Mario! But apparently, one of the biggest flaws of the DS is actually the hinge. The hinge is actually really fragile, so you know, let's give it a little durability test. Overall, what do I think of this thing? This is a really neat system. Even the original one, the fat one, which is this one, is just- it's such a good system. Yes, this thing has a lot of shovelware. You can still play good games like Mario 64 DS or New Super Mario Bros. DS. Um, there's good Pokemon games on this, like Pokemon White 2, if you can afford it. But this is a nice system. I mean, it's not too big. It's comfortable. Um, it's not crazy, but it's a nice little system.